Italy says it's had 41 new COVID-19 deaths in just 24 hours. Here's a summary of the article. Italy says it's had 41 new COVID-19 deaths in just 24 hours. It came as the UK and Switzerland announced their first deaths from the disease. Earlier on Thursday, the World Health Organization urged people not to give up fighting the outbreak. It has now killed 3,281 people globally and infected more than 95,000. China reported 143 new cases in the past 24 hours, but most new cases are outside China. The number of newly reported cases in South Korea appears to be declining, WHO said. France's health ministry announced two new deaths from COVID-19 and said there were 92 fresh infections. This post received a score of 72,121, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. That directive appeared to be widely ignored, as school closures nationwide left many Italian children in the care of their grandparents. Italy has the world's oldest population after Japan. Lorenzo Romano, making lunch for his grandchildren, saw a positive side to having kids stay home from school. Altogether, it makes me happy, because then I have them around me more, he said. It's actually a rather serious problem, you see, since our population is old, most of our executives are old, which means that our welfare politics and pragmatic world views are outdated, too. Smart working isn't really a thing here, mostly because companies don't invest in hardwares and don't trust their employees to work from home, which means, most of those children's parents aren't at home but work regularly, and very few of them can afford a full-time babysitter. So grandparents just make do and try to make the situation a little less stressful for themselves and the kids, it's arguably not the best way to take them to the park but they're just trying I guess. This situation is also being exploited by the far right to attack our government with the accuser being incapable of handling the crisis and ask for immediate elections. If this were the case, guessing from the most recent surveys, we'd end up having a far right coalition, so yeah, very bad times ahead for pizza country. Thinks government isn't preventing spread of virus effectively. Wants to call general election immediately. It's so fucking transparent how disingenuous that is. From a citizen of one country with shit politicians who don't care about us to another, I'm sorry. Yeah IKR, sadly our public opinion is falling for it. Thank you for your sympathy. I'm curious when the first death in Germany is going to happen. Surprisingly there has been no confirmed coronavirus death yet in Germany, despite the number of cases currently doubling every day. Out of 514 cases, only two are considered serious so far. I wonder why there is a considerably higher number of fatalities in other countries and in Germany none so far. While two are reported to be fighting for their lives, eight cases are considered serious in Germany. One reason for the disparity between cases and deaths is that Germany has done a lot of testing. In Berlin's largest hospital for example they are testing everyone who is showing symptoms like fever and coughing for COVID-19. And if someone tests positive, they will trace all of their contacts and test them as well. They're finding loads of asymptomatic or very mild cases this way. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.